I've learned hundreds of impressive parkour moves, but how useful are they actually in real life? To be honest, not very, unless you happen to be a bank robber. Thinking about it, there are actually only four moves that I use in everyday life. And you've probably never seen them because they rarely show up in any parkour videos. But they are very easy to learn. Oh, there's my ride. For example, have you ever been a bit in a rush and... Jason! Your destination is close, but you can't get to it. Sometimes cities are designed in a way that make the easiest things ridiculously inconvenient. If only there was a move that could get you over handrails or common fences using almost no effort. Let me introduce you to the gate ball. If you want to learn this move, a good prerequisite to have is a cartwheel. But to be honest, this move is easier than a cartwheel, so even if your cartwheel is not solid, you will probably still be able to learn it. For practice, I would find a waist-high rail. I cartwheel to my left, so I grab the rail with my left hand in an undergrip. Then I gently lower my waist to the rail, lean over, and place my right hand on the ground to cartwheel over. Doing a bit of a pop off the hip will make this move feel effortless. You can choose to keep your legs together or spread them out like a cartwheel. And that way you can save some time and arrive in style. Enjoy. Hey Tim, it's been a minute. See you Jason. Thanks for helping me out with the video. Yeah, no problem. So, what's it about? So, we're doing parkour skills that are useful in everyday life, mm -hmm. but everybody needs to be able to learn them in like a day. Okay. Yeah, I think I've got an idea for you. Cool. But don't think kill it, uh, because the train's coming home. Shoot. Don't forget your bag. Thanks, bro. See you in a bit. This next move I've got for you is for people who just can't leave the house on time. It's super simple, and yet it could open up a whole new shortcut on your commute that could be the difference between just making your train or having to wait another 30 minutes for the next one. Well, allow me to introduce you to the chest vault. To practice this, all you need is a short obstacle like a bench or a low wall. Place both hands on top, hop off the bottom leg and swing the free leg over the top. Taking the weight on your arms and chest for a brief second, pivoting over like a low angled cartwheel. Once you're comfortable on a low object, find something slightly higher and narrower to practice on, like a railing or a park bench. And voila, you now have a secret move in your back pocket to draw on when needs must. That is definitely the most useful vault for everyday life. But there are situations where that move is completely useless. And that's because in everyday life, sometimes your hands are full. And yes, I could have picked a better parking spot, but I'm stubborn sometimes, okay? Now this situation is tricky. Of course I could try to just jump over the wall without using my hands, but that's risky and even if I was gonna make it, the impact would rip my high quality German paper bag. If only there was a relaxed way to get over a wall without needing to use both hands. It's time for you to meet the sit vault. A completely new way to play with your butt. Learning this move is pretty straightforward. You want to use one hand on the obstacle to stabilize your body and pull yourself into the rotation. Once you're comfortable with that, you can increase the speed and actively swing your legs over the obstacle, which will make the whole move feel effortless. And there you go, now you can carry all the groceries in just one trip, even if there's a whole Ninja Warrior course between your car and your front door. And those are the three most useful parkour moves for everyday life. Three? Three. Didn't you say four? At the beginning. I did say four. Oh, come to us. Yeah. There is a fascination in the fitness world with muscle ups. And sure, they look cool, but if maximum efficiency and effortless movement is what you're after, then allow me to introduce you to muscle ups' easier and more practical cousin, the pullover. Say you want to climb into a tree. Maybe you need to save a cat. Maybe just for fun, or maybe you just suck at football. And there's no way to climb in using the trunk and the branch is too thick for a muscle up. Well, the pullover opens up a whole new and simpler method for accessing the tree. To practice the pullover, you need a horizontal bar, preferably about chest height to begin. Walk up to it and swing one leg whilst hopping off the other. Pull your hips into the bar and circle up to a locked out dip position on top like so. If you're still struggling, then it's a good idea to train negative reps too. 
the next progression of this would be to do it from hanging. Using a bit of momentum from swinging, pull your hips to the bar using your upper body and core strength until your legs fly over the top. Allow the momentum and the weight of your legs to pull you around completing a full circle. An intermediary step that might be useful if you have a setup like this is you can use the slightly lower bar to push off using one foot while swinging the other leg. And there you have it, a cool move with ninja levels of efficiency that can unlock access to new canopies, the pullover. Got it? Thank you. So there you go, with those four moves, the gate vault, the chest vault, the sit vault, and the pullover, you'll have the ninja skills that will have you prepared for everyday life. All it would take is an afternoon in the park with this video, and you could learn those four very useful skills in no time. And after that, if you feel like you would like to give parkour a go, it is a lot of fun. I offer a parkour roadmap, which is a bird's eye view from the journey from beginner to pro with best practices and common mistakes. Basically a video that I wish I would have had when I was 14. Click the link in the description and I'll send it your way. Nice, you should definitely check that out. Or if you want to learn more functional and efficient type movements like that we share with you today, check out my channel at Tim's Gym on YouTube. Do it. All the links, you have a lot of work to do. Hope you have a free afternoon. Thanks for watching. See ya.